introduction is the Tangomatic, and it was uh, created by John. I'd like to stand up, John, and take a bow. Thanks for all the kiss. And got a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> and many of you will have had a part in this because the bottom tops were taken from behind the bar over a series of weeks or months, yeah. So it could be yours. Uh, we thought we were free quick then. We're not, we're not playing it tonight because the instructions didn't come with it. But we will, it will be resurrected at some point. <laughs> Frank's going to learn to play, but he's a drummer, so let's take a number of ones. Yes. Yes. We've started this. <laughs> nice to be told. Um, okay, we've got a slightly different setup tonight, as you can probably see. We're sitting down. Yeah, so we're not doing any stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. I'm going to draw the short straw, so I'm going to be the first to, uh, to inflict myself upon you. And what I'm actually going to do is go back to uh, the good old Irish roots and sing the song that um, I used to sing my kids to sleep with. And they always managed to fall asleep before I got to the end of the song. Um, but as time's gone on, it suddenly dawned on me that really, they were just wishing that I'd shut up. So, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, they're still there. So, anyway, if you fall asleep, just snore quietly. So. <laughs> Maria walking to me, said, Thank you very much, very kind. 
Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Um, please come to Sean now, but just before you touch, um, I want to thank, mention one or two things. <coughs> Last month when we had Theo Hopkins on, I was told off severely for not having a raffle. And two months from now, we'll do the lady raffle, so we put it right tonight, and there's a, a ukulele, which is a great start to ukulele. Uh, it's over there, and uh, so that's the first prize. The second prize will be two free tickets for next month, which is the wonderful Eric Taylor and Nancy Griffiths, ex husband, who's a wonderful singer songwriter uh, and quite a fierce man. Um, and so, two tickets for that. That's the second prize, so depending on how you want to do it. Um, are we okay to start? Yeah. Anyway, just before you do, just want to thank uh, two people in particular, because last month, with the Hopkins, I lost my car keys, which I do all the time, but it wasn't very good at the end of the night because I had to take the artist back to the house. We stepped over and we had to go and pick up luggage that they left at the New Ball Hotel. And we searched and searched till about quarter past the um, and couldn't find them. Um, but two people came to, our, to my rescue, and that's George and John Holloway, who were sitting in the front. And, uh, yeah, please, please, it was a very long time because I had informed you and they had impressed them. So uh, it was a way out of the way. It was very, very good. Great smile. We didn't find the keys the next day. Where were they? They were in the kids' case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought he was very nice. He came all the way up from like, to, to, to deliver them. And I got along with them. I had to take Faye Hopkins and I was going to worry about it. These were nice. When I said it was one of those seventies, like one of those seventies house parties, I was kidding you. <laughs> Where was the phone? In his pocket. In somewhere. It's an illusion. So, I thought about a country song, but an English country song. What the hell could you write about? <laughs> so this is kind of a, started off that way, kind of lost its way after the first line. A song called uh, Back on the Wall.
Jeff's got that here, obviously. He's been away in the court foot now? Creed. I just got back last night. Came back, so she was reading. Now he's going back tomorrow. Well, I'm going to go to the set section tomorrow. Do they still have war to the other section to the other? No, I guess. Three minutes. Right. Okay, so uh, let me show you where the badge of those. Well, so we are standing here. 94, 20 years ago. So this is a little thing called the badge of the badge of the boat. I think it might be a euphemism for some of this. <laughs> I don't think there were same sex badges. <laughs> but it seems it was married. Okay, so there we go. So the cards on this one, Pete, this is the one we rehearsed. Oh, yes, no.